way to the yeah. border. talking about a double hit rainbow and rainbow ain't even a, a ball python gene rainbow is a ball python no it's not it's a it's a reticulated python gene mm -hmm. i ain't never heard of no rainbow you never heard of rainbow retic you should have had rainbow rainbow last month during pride month <laughs> wait till the end of the wrong time and do something could have got you in a rainbow shirt i'm always late to you the know? party always late to the party all right rainbows rainbows here they come turn you had the incubator turn on all right i did that with my mind oh. i did jedi powers jedi so, well, it's a rainbow, kind of. That don't look like a rainbow. <laughs> no, no rainbow. Why do they call it a rainbow? All right, so this is actually a normal. And the clutch that made this uh, come from the Florida facility, uh, mm -hmm. Chris Hashtees, and... The pairing was Inchy Rainbow to Inchy Hypo. So what we ended up with is double hit, rainbow, hypos, and then normal, inchy, and super inchy stuff. That's double hit. Got it. That makes sense why it's a normal. That's that's why it looks like a normal. So a rainbow is a super form. Yep. I don't have any video footage of the inchy rainbow. But I'll get Cassie to drop a picture of what Dad looks like in this video. Y'all can check that out. So Rainbow is a, a form of albino. Oh. And it's really bright, really cool looking. Really looking forward to uh, working that project some more. So. And you have my attention, in albino. We will. Uh, we will. Well, I can say we will. We should have uh, visual rainbows available uh, here in the near future. So. Anyway, so basically what we have is just a normal uh, female, double head, hypo, rainbow. So, really cool. We ended up with um, four pairs in this clutch. So we have four males and four females. We're keeping a pair ourselves, and we're selling three pairs. So, that really good on the sex odds, wasn't like male heavy like most of my stuff is um, and we're selling pairs so this female will be paired with this inchy now something I want to bring up look at how crazy this inchy looks so that het rainbow is actually having an influence on the inchy here so inchy normally has uh, back banding like the, the banding goes over the back, but the double head, I'm going to assume most of this is coming from the rainbow, is actually forcing a dorsal strap on the inchy. So how cool is that? So this is male. This one's female. That is a, uh, that is a pair there. I call this pair three. Pair three. Um, That's cool. cool if you were trying to get into a project. Boom, there you go. You got a, whole, you got a, you got a pair. Right I mean, you got to wait a little while for the girl, but you know. Yep. You can also use this male on, um, you know, hypo stuff because he's hit hypo. So if you wanted to try to make some hypo pos hit rainbow stuff, this would be, uh, these males would be good for those projects. Or if you were able to, you know, get some more hit rainbow girls, you could use this one male on those other girls as well. So. Uh, hopefully we'll have some visual stuff for more head stuffs. I know what I know we'll have more head stuff coming. Uh, hopefully we'll hit some visuals too. 
but these being double head hypo and rainbow are having to be sold in a pair. So, all right, pair three. Let's get pair two. All right, ladies first. So pair two consists of a inchy female. Really cool. Again, you get this uh, crazy dorsal pattern instead of the normal uh, banding that the inchy shows, and she can be paired up with a super inchy. So this male is super inchy, double head, hypo, rainbow. How cool is that? That's actually really stinking cool. So what I was talking about with the banding, the banding like this is normally what you see in just regular inchy. Even still, you can see this crazy pattern down the side. Like this, to be just a head influence, it's really cool looking. So when someone gets this combo and they pair them together, they're, they're guaranteed to get an inchy. Guaranteed to get inches from this male. There you go. And because of, again, you go back to that pot head stuff, mm -hmm. because of the way that the hit rainbow is affecting these inches, if you bred this male to, let's say, let's say you had a hypo female. Okay. So, so if you bred this male to just a hypo female, everything is going to be inchy. So that allows you to kind of pick out the pot heads. Because the head rainbows are more than likely going to look like this. Mm -hmm. So you can make hypo pause head rainbows, but have a little bit of indication as to what's probably going to prove out to be head rainbow. Making it a little so, bit easier for y'all. Making it a little bit easier. So I'm giving y'all a, a lot of information here. Doesn't look like much in the snakes, but this is a lot of information that uh, can help you pick out pause head rainbows. We call these sleeper genes. They are sleepers. So, What's pair number one going to be? Uh, it's going to be a visual. Nope. Visual hypo. Nope. Nope. Um, it's going to be a, a normal. Nope. It's going to be, I don't know. It's going to be a, a double visual. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what do we got? It's going to be the same thing. Oh. So, Are again, you sure that's just not the same snake you just keep it's, pulling? That's not. not. <laughs> so, this is a uh, inchy female. Slightly different than the other one, but again, forcing that dorsal stripe the inchy is, doesn't normally have. And she can be paired up with this super oh, inchy. Oh, look at him. So I really yeah, like the way... You got good odds on the male super inches. Yep. Really, really, really like the way this particular one looks. There too. Really orange. The band is really tight. Really cool looking. So very unique, unique looking snakes here. So this is pair number one. Inchy, super inchy, both double head, rainbow, hypo. So these pairs are going to be around 1250 bucks ish that's uh, it yeah i mean they're not uh they're not super expensive is it because they're they're double heads and not visuals yeah the, the visuals are really expensive right um your rainbows are still commanding a a higher price uh -huh. um and basically what we're doing is because we got such good odds is you're basically just buying the female and we're throwing in the mail boom more bang for your buck baby so so these double head females are probably, you know, worth a thousand to twelve hundred dollars ish uh, around their, uh, you know, just by themselves. But because we got, you know, good sex odds, we're just uh, selling them as pairs and basically no cost for the males. But again, if you have hypo stuff, it's not a bad male to have to make hypo pos head rainbow stuff, mm -hmm. especially with the inchy because of the dorsal pattern kind of pick these pause heads out so anyway really cool fun project if you're interested in this everything's had two or three meals will be posted up on morph market probably close to around the same time this video comes out and uh hey see y'all next time be out thanks for watching hard ride exotics and make sure you subscribe